for Bozeman. Bordon trying to chip to Kingery, but it's off the skate of one of the Butte defenders. Now Cobb will strip a puck and fires one on net. I don't think Nier was able to find it, but he's able to make the stop, and now it bounces to Kingery on the near side. Kingery on the backhand, wheels around to the far side of the ice, chipped, a shot, and it goes in! Joshua Stitch with the first goal of the game! Just a minute and eight seconds in, an absolute laser beam up in the top left. Fennell, he's got Frank pressuring. He steps around to the far side. He's passed both Missoula forwards, and now he comes in three on two. Fennell in the middle of the ice, throwing one. Blocked by the defense and cleared to the far side. Nerney's there. He'll pick it up now for Bozeman. Wheels around, down to the corner, thrown back in front. He shoots, he scores! Blake Nerney with his first goal wearing an Ice Dogs logo. He gets it on the power play and this one's tied at one. Bozeman on the five on three. He stops with it and moves to the middle of the ice. To the high slot. He throws one but it goes right off the post. A great chance for Fennell. Bad bounce deflects it wide. McKay battling for it. They're able to keep it in. Fennell stepping down once again. He throws one. He scores! The captain, Caden Fennell, again on the power play. And Bozeman is now in the lead with 10.25 remaining. Fennell almost scored in the exact same spot, but it bounces off the post and some hard work from Luke McKay on the near side as the captain ends back up with the puck in the middle of the ice. He puts it in the exact spot he was aiming for the first time. The Ice Dogs lead the Bruins for the first time tonight. They'll have 35 seconds. Carney throwing it across the ice for Bordon. Bordon into the wild end for McKay in the middle. He fires one. He shoots! He scores! The hat trick for Luke McKay! He ties the game at three! And the Ice Dogs have come roaring back into this one with 9.36 left in the second period. Luke McKay is the lone goal scorer for Bozeman. He gets his first hat trick of the year. Hello everybody, welcome to the Bozeman Ice Dogs live broadcast here from the Wrestler Ice Arena in beautiful downtown Bozeman, Montana. My name is Isaac Smolden, I am doing play-by-play -play today after the Ice Dogs have been on the road for the last two weekends. I'm joined by Jeff on the camera across from me. We're going to start by looking over some of our standings in the Frontier Division. We haven't checked up on that in a while. In the lead right now is Great Falls. They are 11-0 and on the season. They were the only other team in the Frontier to play to day as they took on the Missoula Junior Bruins. They win that game by a score of 4-2 to, to stay undefeated. Sheridan is in second place with a record of 8-1, followed by Missoula in third. Gillette here in fourth. Bozeman in fifth. Yellowstone in sixth. Helena in seventh. And Butte in eight. Bozeman and Gillette set to play each other for the first time this season. The fourth and fifth place teams in the division. They will play in two weekends from now as well in Gillette. So four games here in just three weeks against these two teams. It'll be interesting to see how things start off today. Some of the stats for our teams. Bozeman on the power play right now, they just have a 13.3% power play percentage. That's good for eighth in the division last place. They're going up against Gillette who has a 30.4% on the power play, which is third in the division. Meanwhile, on the PK, Bozeman has a 72.1%, which is fifth, and Gillette has the second worst PK in the division at 55.6, putting them in seventh place in the division. Two teams, one of them struggling immensely on the power play, one of them struggling immensely on the penalty kill. Be interesting to see if either of them can bump up those percentages this weekend. Bozeman has a couple new players tonight. Will Kutch is joining the team for the weekend. He currently plays for Iowa State in Acha D1. Last year, Kutch was third on the team in points. He had 24 goals, 57 assists for 81 points. He hopes to tack on a few more for this season in his limited time in Bozeman. Cooper Walsh has returned to the team permanently. He also played for the Ice Dogs last season. Four goals, six assists for 10 points. Point leaders for both teams for the Gillette Wild, Declan Young is in first place. He has 13 goals, nine assists for 22 points. Then in second, it is Tristan Baker. He has eight goals, five assists for 13 points 
on the season. Declan Young, the leader this year, he was the leader last year as well. He had 44 goals, 41 assists for 85 points in the 2019-2020 season. We're about six minutes from the start of the first period here. We'll be back in just a moment with our national anthem, our starting lineups. Then we'll get set for play to begin on the weekend here in Bozeman. Bozeman Ice Dogs live broadcast here from the Wrestler Ice Arena. Game tonight, the Ice Dogs versus the Wild. Stay tuned. Series split here this weekend. What does that mean going into next weekend against Gillette? You guys have two more games against them this time on got, the road. I, you gotta love it. You gotta love playing a team like this four games in a row. I mean, they, they showed up tonight. We showed up tonight. It's been good hockey all weekend. So I'm excited for next weekend. Obviously, Camden Sangheiser getting two goals there late in the third. And not only him, but his line was several key shot blocks in that third period. I feel like we talk about it every other game, but just how big is that line of nerve? Ernie Sennheiser and Thompson. <laughs> they're frustrating, but uh, they're, they're, they're kind of the heart and soul of the team uh, in, in the best way and the worst way. Um, the lobster is back, and the lobster is hot right now. So next week, I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm excited to see what they do. Thanks, Trainer. We'll talk to you next time. Let's eat. That'll bring us into our final stats for the game. Shots. Gillette Wild had 38 to Bozeman's 31. Goaltender for the Wild. Cole Wheaton, he makes 28, excuse me, 27 of 30 in that game. And goaltender for the Bozeman Ice Dogs, Evan Whitco, makes 36 of 38. A really st stellar performance from him, Kai. Goals for... The game, we started out with Justin Hayward getting his fourth of the season. 11.24 into the first, assisted by Blake Nerney. He'd be scoreless until almost the last minute of the second period. Luke McKay, assisted by Caden Fennell and Colin Cobb. Only two goals for the first two periods, and then the third, we'd have four goals as Camden Sangheiser got an unassisted goal late in the third, 15.26 into the period. Mason Hoffman would strike back under a minute later, however, for the Wild, assisted by Young and Trebojevic with the goalie pulled. Then Declan Young gets his first of the night off of the faceoff win. Another empty net goal. Camden Sangheiser would seal it in the third period with the cage open, his seventh of the year. Our final score would be 4-2. to two. Our three stars of the game, number three is going to be Caden Fennell and Kai, like you said, two assists tonight and just obviously the captain and clearly the, the defensive anchor for this Bozeman Ice Dogs team. Yeah, yeah, he knows how to come out, really know how to lead by example. Great, great having him back there. Can move the puck up well, even skate it. Just all around great player to have around. Second star, Evan Whitco, 36 of 38. A stellar performance from him tonight and in this second half of the season, you hope to see him coming into his own as we move forward. Our first star for the game, though, has to be number 19. It's the Lobster. As Rainer said, the Lobster's back. Two goals tonight for Camden Sangheiser, and just a great game for him. That third goal, one of the hardest working goals I've seen this year. Yeah. Way to just take it all the way down, fight against those defense, and really show up today. It's great to see someone like Camden stepping up, leading by example, and really fires up the guys to see someone like that putting pucks in the back of the net. They had a lot of close games in the Frontier Division tonight. Missoula beats the Cobras by a score of 6-5 to five in Butte. And Sheridan maintains their lead over the Great Falls by one goal. They win 4-3 to three in Great Falls. Next weekend, the Ice Dogs have two games in Gillette starting at 7.30 Mountain Time. Make sure you tune into Hockey TV to see those. And then, of course, our social media for the game recaps after. Until then and until next time we see you here at home, I've been Isaac Smolden, joined by Kai Kingery, Jeff on the camera once again. We hope you have a good rest of your knife. night. Stay safe and good night. Saturday's game between the Ice Dogs and the Sheridan Hawks. Sheridan taking the win on Friday night, last night by a score of 5-1. to one. Ice Dogs hoping to split the series with the first place Sheridan Hawks this weekend. Sheridan with only one loss on the year, and it came in the second game of the season for both the Ice Dogs and the Hawks, with Bozeman winning by a score of 3-2. to two. Sam Bordon out there to take the opening faceoff against Blake Billings. Pucks down, and we are underway. Ice Dogs controlling the faceoff. Hood pressuring Billings off the puck. It goes back to Bordon. He's tripped up on the play, able to hang on to possession. Now a turnover to Jacob Cummings right in front, and he taps in his own rebound and scores. Bad turnover in front to Jacob Cummings. Pucks given to him tape to tape. Wide open in front of the Bozeman net. Whitcomb able to make the first stop and then Cummings picking up his own rebound and tapping 
the easy goal in just 15 seconds into the first period. And Sheridan already up by a score of one to zero. Ice Dogs will get a line change. Enders, Evans, and Fusco out on the ice. Ice Dogs dealing with the suspension of Blake Nerney and day-to-day -day injury of Dylan Fontaine. Forced to change up the lines quite a bit. They have possession in the offensive zone, but it's turned over to McCaffrey Billings. He's tied up by Enders. The puck's down in the far side corner. Billings sends it back to the near side. Racing forward is Evans and French. French able to ship it past Evans and up the near side wall. Jack Harris trying to get it to the middle. It deflects off a stick and over to the far side. Schumacher off the boards. Stopped by Cummings and he looks to dump it in. Enders will pick it up at the circle. Off the back wall. Looking for Fennell. Bounces to Fusco instead. Back to Fennell now. He sends it around for Evans on the far side. They're able to clear the zone. Puck goes right to Cott. Now Sheridan able to regroup. Cott in the middle of the ice. Stepping past Fennell. Making it past Schumacher as well. Almost able to hang on to it. Finally knocked off the puck and it bounces into the near side corner. Turned over again to Sheridan. They possess it up top now. Bridges back over to Cott on the near side. Cott holding it. Centering in front. Puck's loose. A shot saved by Whitco. The puck bounces to the near side. Sangheiser grabs it and flips it all the way down. And now Cott's going to win the race. We'll have an icing against Bozeman, 1831 remaining in the first period. Thompson, Sangheiser, and Chase White out there for the Ice Dogs' third line. Or rather, Thompson, White, and Frost out there for the Ice Dogs' third line, with Sangheiser and Thompson being split up tonight as a result of Nerney's suspension. Battle in the corner. Ice Dogs with possession. A turnover into Gillies Hammer in front. Pass to the far side shot over the net. And it rings around to the near side boards. Chase White able to clear the zone. Dumped right back in by the Hawks. Bounces past Fennell and into the corner. Humphreys racing for it. He's able to tie up Fennell. The Ice Dogs hang on to possession. Pass intended for Frost. Bounces out to the neutral zone. It'll be picked up there by Nick Tigges. John Teasdale now with the puck. Dumping it on net. Wetco stopping it to the side. Leaves it behind the net for his defense. Humphreys pressuring against Fennell. Fennell ringing it up the far side boards. De Marais there. He'll gain possession for Sheridan. Sheridan works it up to the point. Pass is out of the zone. So they're not able to hold it. Landon Frost able to pick the puck up. Now Eric Thompson will dump it in on net. It bounces into the breadbasket of Long Ramos and he'll freeze play with 17.36 remaining in the first period. Faceoff will come to the right of Juan Ramos. Sheridan currently out shooting the Ice Dogs 3-1. to one. With that last dump in being the Ice Dogs only shot. Bordon to take the faceoff. Tries to poke it forward. Sent back to the point. DJ Tamburo out on the ice. Dumping it down into the near side corner. French sends it around to the far side. Ruta tied up with Hayward. Hayward able to hold the zone. Shot by Hayward. Or rather a dump into the near side corner. Chipped right back out by Sheridan. It'll go all the way down. No icing as Root is able to get to it before it crosses the goal line. He sends it across. Bordon and Miller were battling. Bordon ends up with it and flips it over to Hayward back on the near side. Hayward up the boards. Gets it to McKay. He sends it back to Hayward. Now both men are tied up on the near side board. Puck goes out to Cobb on the far side. He gets it to Tamburo. Tamburo sends it back around for Hayward over in the near side corner. Flipped up and out. Gotten to Enders at the red line. He carries it across the blue. Battling with French. And both players will be tied up at the hash mark. But we're going to have a penalty against Sheridan now. And I believe it will go against French for the hook on Enders as he was coming into the zone. So Bryce French going to the box as the Ice Dogs go on the power play for the first time tonight. Last night they were one for four with the man advantage. Chance to tie this game back up. 16.42 left in the first. Luke McKay set to take the face off. And he wins it back to Stitch. Stitch leaves it for Cobb near side. He's pressured by Blake Billings. Dumps it down into the near side corner. Hayward gets it to Thompson. Thompson knocked into the boards. Back to Hayward. Hayward. Pass intended for the point. Gets dumped down by Schwartzmiller. Penalty against the Hawks. Number five, Bryce French. Two minutes for hooking. 
Ice Dogs looking to break it out of their own zone. Thompson trying to send it up to Stitch. But it goes to Cott instead. He sends it right back down. A minute and 20 seconds remaining on the man advantage for the Ice Dogs. Colin Cobb drops it back for Stitch. He's moving up the middle. Almost turned over to Blake Billings in front. Stitch able to recollect. He moves back behind his own net. Now just one minute remaining in the power play. Cobb steps it by a man. He's moving up the near side with some speed across the blue line. Drops it for Hayward. Shot blocked off the skate of Schwartzmiller. Picked up by McKay on the far side. He drops it for Fennell. Fennell gets it poked away from him by Billings. Billings trying to get it to Schwartzmiller in the middle. And they're going to be way offside to Schwartzmiller not able to hang on to that back foot on the blue line. So we'll have a stoppage in play. 15-28 remaining in the period and 46 seconds left in the penalty against French. Sangheiser, Enders, and Bourdon out on the second unit. Evans and Fennell up at the point. Face-off won by Sheridan. Tickets racing for it. Tickets will gain possession. Quickly sends it down. Whitco stopping it behind his net. Gillies Hammer posted up in front as it's passed over to Evans on the far side. Evans, moving with some speed, steps across the Sheridan blue line into offensive territory. He rings it around on the near side for Enders. Enders gains clear possession, gets it to Fennell on the point. Fennell back to Enders now, near side boards. Enders down to Sangheiser in the corner, back to Enders in front. He shoots, he scores! A great play between Sangheiser and Enders. And the Ice Dogs have tied this game back up. 14.56 remaining in the first period. That's a heads up play from all three men on that near side of the ice. Jake Enders, obviously the goal scorer there and it's gonna be his first as an ice dog as the puck gets thrown into the bench. Fennell gets it down to Enders on the near side. Enders finds a wide open Sangheiser. Great awareness by Sangheiser to fire Enders on that seam. And a good shot from him to tie this game back up. Puck dumped down to the Sheridan end. Ice Dogs goal! Scoring his first of the season, number nine, Jake Enders! Assisted by number 19, the Lobster Camden Sangheiser, and number three, your captain, Caden Fennell. Sheridan clearing the zone following Ice Dogs possession down in the offensive zone for a moment. Torgrimson dumping it down to the near side corner. It goes to Kingery now. He tries to clear right in front of Blake Billings. He scores. Another turnover to the Sheridan Hawks right in front of the net. And a quick shot from Billings as he finds the puck on his stick and puts one past Whitco on the near side. And Sheridan has gotten this lead right back. Fourteen oh eight remaining in the first period. Sheridan now once again with a one goal lead and they've scored two goals in a very similar fashion directly in front of the Bozeman net. Pucks back in the Hawks defensive zone. Shipped quickly out. Jack Harris was racing for it. It's poked away from him as the Ice Dogs dump it back in. Sheridan goal scored by number 14, Blake Billings. Assisted by number 12, TJ Torgrimson. First Sheridan goal awarded to Jacob Cummings, unassisted. Luke Piquet with a quick shot that's knocked aside by Wong Ramos, and now the Hawks go the other way. It's going to be Cummings in the far side corner going up against Bordon. Bordon has the puck in his skates, gets it to Hayward. Hayward up to Cobb. Knocked away from Cobb by French. Now back up to Cobb. He sends it into the middle. Hayward knocked off his stick. Cummings in front on the backhand. Shot and a great save by Evan Witko. Now the puck goes up the near side wall. Quickly dumped back in by Sheridan. Round to the far side, poked out by Cobb. Now it's knocked off his stick, McCaffrey Billings with an easy pickup as the Hawks regroup. Jacob Cummings through the middle, past both defenders on the backhand, throws one that's wide. Near side now, back to Cummings. Another shot saved by Whitco and knocked into the far corner. Sheridan still with possession, shot deflected right in front of the net by 
One of the Sheridan forwards bounces back up to the point. Bridges with it, poked away from him. Here comes Sangheiser. He could have a breakaway on the near side. He's on his backhand, stepping to the far side. He shoots, he scores! Camden Sangheiser ties the game with 12.39 remaining. A great poke check from the defensive zone. A great move on Wong Ramos, stepping into that far side. And now the Ice Dogs strike back quickly. We've had four goals so far, and we're not even halfway through this first period.